welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. Today I have a Target dollar spot haul for you. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. So if you're new, my name's Melissa. I'm so glad to have you here. I like to do Dollar Tree DIYs and any home decor on a budget, shopping hauls, and so much more. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love if you would become part of my crafty family by clicking that red subscribe button down below. And then once you hit subscribe, you just tap the bell and all. That way you're notified every single time I upload. That way you don't miss another shopping or crafty moment. So with all that being said, I have to go pick up my daughter from school in 30 minutes, so I'm going to run through this haul as fast as I possibly can. I'm also going to try to do no editing. I know a lot of people say that. I am included in that, and then I always end up editing, editing it, but two to three videos editing per week is a lot, so that's why you kind of hear a lot of people saying, I'm going to try not to edit this. So let's just dive right in I was there yesterday um, and I picked up now my my target dollar spot usually doesn't have this much stuff I don't know if they're stepping up their game or what but I was so excited the moment I walked in um, there was just so much stuff to look at and I also uploaded my little haul and shopping trip on Instagram and TikTok. so if you're not following me over there I post daily content over there so check me out at all things crafty Two, all one word so I started out with the signs this one is three dollars it's got the white shiplap with the house shape it's pretty good size I don't have my tape measure right here but it's really good size it says one count wood decor house picked up one of those and then I also picked up pretty much the same thing, just a different shape. Um, this one I stayed with the wood grain color, or I like that natural color, how it's all that natural wood. So that's why I went with this one. But if I can find the footage, they do have white, I think just white, but they do have white in the same exact like shape. you guys this one is so cute now if you guys have never seen my thrift flip video where I completely redid a washboard I found one at Goodwill and I completely redid the whole thing I can link that in the cards in the right hand corner if you would like to see that but this one's kind of tiny um, it's three bucks it's okay size um, for three dollars you really can't complain but it's got the galvanized metal. It is real galvan galvanized metal. And then there's a chalkboard up top. Once again, they did have different ones. Um, the other ones had cute little sayings on them. But of course, you guys know me. If you've been around any amount of time, my idea is to chalk on that. So I'm probably going to um, upload a Target dollar spot DIY video probably before this video I don't know hmm I gotta figure that out anyway moving on um look how cute this is so this is kind of like hold on don't get me lying decor wall shelf and it reminds me of like a chair without the legs that's what it reminded me of but I thought that this would be so cute in the new house maybe add a little wreath to it with some decor on the shelf I don't really know um, but the second I saw this I was absolutely in love with it for five bucks um, it's really good size it's nice quality it is that MDF but I mean pretty much everything these days is MDF board so <laughs> what are you gonna do about it you guys know my motto it is what it is so I'm gonna try to bring you close so you could see that wood grain. My camera doesn't like to focus until you do like that. See? <laughs> but do you see that wood grain texture? That's just kind of like a print. Um, once they cut the MDF board, then I'm pretty sure it's like laser printed on there. So that's not real wood, it's just 
like a faux wood. Okay, now I got these a while ago, but I want to DIY them, so I, I figured that I would show these to you. I got these back in like fall time. Um, it's the three pack wood houses. Look how cute these are. It's got the little galvanized chimney. There's three different sizes, so you can make a set. There's so many different ideas for this, and they're really thick wood as well. So I thought for five bucks, they're already cut, they're ready to go. You don't have to fool with the saw and all that crazy stuff. Five bucks, boom, you got a cute little set of DIY houses. Okay, moving on to the tier trays. You guys know the Dollar Spot always has tier trays. Um, of course, they're five bucks. And they did have, I think, another style, which I didn't really like. I can't remember, but, um, oh, I do remember now. It was like the cheapest thing, and the ones on the shelves were missing shelves, so I was like, okay, that's probably not the best quality item to get. So that's why I went with the wired ones. But the ones that were like falling apart, it was just like one cheap piece of MDF, um, on the sides and then one cheap piece of MDF in the middle and it was five bucks so I stayed away from that one um, just because obviously it probably wouldn't have lasted so this one however is really good size for five bucks um, it's just like the wired one I can see this in, like in my kitchen or something so I picked up one of those and then I also picked up one of these round basket weave tear tray, so to speak. Um, I thought they were really interesting because the wood on, like, this wood right here is so thin. Um, I don't know. There's Everything these days is so cheaply made, but at five bucks, and we also don't have sales tax, so my items are a true five dollars i do feel that this is worth it it's already put together you just put it somewhere decorate it good to go i have been searching for these i have seen these for a very long time but my store never had them um so i don't know if it's just like a spring item but they had a whole huge stack I picked up three packs of them. They're five dollars a piece. There's ten sheets per pack, which equals out to sixty tiles. So I thought that was a really good deal. I don't really know much about you know this kind of stuff, so maybe I'm wrong. But um, I also thought they were bigger. Like seeing them on other videos and other hauls and stuff. I thought that they were like bigger tiles, but when I got them in my hands and they were up close, I was like, wow, they are kind of small, but um, I don't know. I'm trying to debate where I'm gonna put these in the new house. I don't know if I should do like an accent wall behind the tub or, you know, I, I don't know. Or like the kids' bathroom, I don't know, you guys. This is what stinks about being indecisive. Anyway, I picked up three packs of those. I picked up this cute little plant. Now, normally, <laughs> I'm a DIYer, so I'm like, I'm not going to pay $5 for that because I can make that. But time is money. And if it's going to take me more time to make this... You know, if the time equals the money, then I will do it. And I thought for five bucks, this is super cute. Um, it's a cute little plant to put on your tear tray or, you know, an entryway table or whatever. I'm not really sure, but picked up one of those. I also picked up the cute little bud vases. Now, I've seen everybody haul, sorry guys, my foot itches. I've seen everybody haul um, bud vases before from the Target Dollar Spot, but I ne could never find them. Like every season I go to my Target, but it stinks so bad. There's 
usually nothing ever there except like the kids school supply stuff um, so lately I just haven't been bothering going except one time around Christmas time I was super impressed and this past time I was super impressed so I don't know maybe they're stepping up their game but I picked up one pack of the three pack bud base and they're all different sizes again perfect for tear trays um, you know decor in your house etc he could even DIY that put a little ribbon on it put a little bow on it paint it whatever your little heart desires okay now I want to go back and get a bunch of these this is the this is part of the Easter decor and it's like the um, moss bunnies they're really good size one is sitting down one is like like that so I don't know I will do my best to put in shots of each product like on my counter or something just so you guys can see it a little bit better um, but here I'll leave them no anyway I was gonna pull them out but I can't get it open right this second next I picked up this rotating storage bin and it is um, divided into four you can also pull these dividers out like if you need if you need a bigger space you could take them all out you could take just one etc so I thought that would be perfect for the new house I'm trying not to buy too much stuff until we get in there and I see what I need because I already have so much stuff that I can use so um, there are certain little things that I know I can use so I pick it up but for the most part um, I'm just kind of waiting till we get over there to see what all I need okay moving on this was another cutie patootie it is a house planter so I figured either something like for my daughter's room or I even think it's cute to just put some greenery in or some flowers and once again display that on your table or um, you know your hutch or whatever the case may be so it's the same pretty much all the way around the two sides are a bit skinnier um, than the front and the back, but it's pretty much just the same thing all the way around. Oh, and I also have two items from Marshalls too that I thought were super cute and I wanted to show you guys, but it's just two items. I also, <laughs> I also have another Dollar Tree haul. You'll you'll get a Dollar Tree haul probably every week if I can swing it. Um, I can't DIY twice a week. I just, I wish I could. I just don't have that kind of time. But I figured that if I just sit down and hang out with you guys for a few minutes um, once a week and then once a week you guys get my DIYs and then I'll even upload more content than that if I can swing it but for now one DIY one haul I think will be good let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of that idea so the next item is a bath tray check this out sorry guys I'm trying to get you to see the picture I don't know if you can see that but basically you just lay this across your tub the sides of it and you can put a drink here this is made for a wine glass this little slit right here but your girl doesn't drink so um, that's just an extra space there I guess I don't know but this spot is for your phone which I don't know how many baths I take but I just wanted to show you I thought it was a really cool item um, I can decorate with it in my new tub and just lay it there and put you know greenery so it looks pretty that's kind of what my idea was to be quite honest I'll probably bathe in there every once in a while but um, you know we're just on the go so much there's like no time for stuff like a bath you know but anyway 
I would much rather get a shower anyway, to be honest. Um, I don't like, like, getting up out of the tub. It's not easy to do that. So, anyway. Um, now, these I got last trip as well. But when I got these, they did not have the bigger size. I knew that they did because there was a spot right next to it for $5. These are $3. Um, but at the time, they did not have the bigger one. So I picked up the two smaller ones. They are nested storage containers. The one is small. It's four and a half by four and a half. Four and a half by four and a half by four by 4.2 inches and the medium one is 5 inches by 5 by 4.7 inches so um, one is slightly larger than the other they're just that white tin with the wooden lids I didn't take the plastic off um, I'll pop in a clip here in a second but I picked up one pack of those oh no I'm sorry these were five bucks not three bucks so it was five for the two, but I could see next to it that there was supposed to be like another kind. And I knew there was because here it is. Um, metal storage container. Now this one, the lid is different. I don't believe the day I went, like yesterday had the darker lid like the smaller ones are, but that doesn't bother me. I can always change the color of this lid. And Chalkator just came out with the coolest pantry labels, and I cannot wait. That's what I got these for to display at my new house on my butcher block. Oh my god, you guys, it's gonna look so good. I can't wait to show you. So I picked up those, and then that was it for my Target. Um, whoa, I'm like sliding down. Sorry, guys. That was it for my Target stuff. Um, now for the Marshall stuff. I went in there to get my girl, oh, you saw that, sorry. I went in there to get my girls some spring clothes, and I was like, stay out of the clothes section, stay out of the decor section, but the kids section, like, meets the decor section, so I was like, okay, I'll just go over there and look, and if, you know, I pick up a few things, okay, whatever, I'll just add it to my haul. But anyway, I got these to DIY with. These were $9.99. And when I used my TJ, TJX credit card, I got 5% off. So, I can't do math. Whatever <laughs> whatever 5% off that is, I know it's some, like, change. But, anyway, these are little tiny bird nests. I can picture this, like, on a spring wreath or something. So that's what I like to do personally. I know people get all bent out of shape when people don't do 100% Dollar Tree DIY in their video. It's like, oh my God, this is a Dollar Tree DIY. Why didn't you use every single item from the Dollar Tree? And while I can respect that and understand that, I feel like to make a Dollar Tree DIY truly look really high end, the base of the project is normally the most expensive of the project so i feel like if you get the base and like things from dollar tree that saves you so much right there and then how much do we collect along the way as crafters we collect so many different things from so many different places so it's kind of impossible not to add things from somewhere else i mean i don't know maybe i'm just crazy but Anyway, that's why I picked up these cute little bird nests. So they've got the little blue eggs. They're so cute. They look so realistic. And again, all pop up. I'll do my best to give you pics of all of them. Um, that way you can kind of see them up close. But last but not least with the, was this glorious jar. Um, my style is definitely changing a bit. I'm more into like the modern farmhouse with a little distressing. Don't get, I love distressing. I will not stop. But I do like the more toned back look these days. Not to say I'll never do the heavy dry brushing because in some cases, I do believe that heavy dry brushing looks better, but 
for like my everyday home decor, I I am going to tone down like the distressing and I don't know like seeing all my walls white, it's like the modern farmhouse decor is sounding more appealing to me. So this is like that amber glass color. So it's this gorgeous jar. I thought $7.99 was an amazing price because this thing is heavy duty and it's a really good size. And I don't know what company this is, but it says that it's handmade in Spain. Authentic, 100% recycled glass by Vidros San Miguel. Handmade in Spain. <laughs> you guys like my accent? Uh, like my uh, uh, accent? <laughs> anyway, fun fact about me, my grandmother, my mother, my family, that side of the family, is Italian. She came off the boat. My mom spoke fl my mom spoke fluent Italian. My grandmother speaks fluent Italian. So does my uncles. So I grew up in the Italian culture and um, so like accents and the Spanish and Italian language is very similar. So um, that's why I kind of like talking like that sometimes. My mom, she was so cool. She could speak fluent Italian. Um, I loved just sitting there listening to my mom and grandma talk. So, anyway, oh, and I'm sure you're going to ask me. I cannot speak it, but I can understand it as long as my grandmother doesn't talk like 700 miles a minute. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you enjoyed, like, how to the point I was. I like to just kind of explain some of the items, you know, my thinking, whatever, whatever. So if that's something you enjoy, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below. I know that I sure love hanging out with you guys twice a week now. It's literally so exciting. It's been a long time since I've been able to produce several videos per week, but it's definitely been a goal of mine. So I'm so excited that I have been able to do that. So anyway, you guys, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing. And if nobody has told you today, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.